all, welcome to episode number two of the Unstudio Sessions podcast. Uh, joining me this week are Connor and Rory O'Donnell, the O'Donnell brothers, or as they call themselves, what was it? The Gallagher brothers of Toom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice um, so, not going to waste any time. I'm just going to say thank you to everybody who listened and watched the first episode with Jamie McIntyre. It went very well. It had an unbelievable response. So thanks a million. But um, let's just go straight into it and... Uh, See how we're fixed. See how things go. This could be a long one. It could be a short one. Knowing these two boys now, it's hard to know what way it's going to go. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> so, lads, how's things? Ah, good. No. Not too bad, considering in this isolation period. No, it's, it's tough times. It's tough times. So, just for anybody who doesn't know, who's Connor and who's Rory? Well, I'm Connor. I'm, I'm the eldest. I'm 18. I'm Rory. 17. 17. Yeah. You're the baba. Ah. <laughs> I remember you when you were only young lads. I still, I, I still bear them though. I still bear them. <laughs> oh, stop. So, okay, you're from Toome, aren't you? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So you're only up the road. Yeah, we're in yeah. the middle of Toome, Pallet The middle up of Up our side. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me about yourselves, lads. Like this, this, this whole podcast is me listening and you telling the story. So tell me about yourselves. Where, what's, tell me everything from the start. Where did you go to school? Um, well, we went to the primary school in Gwilskolirlaha, and um, so we kind of we're into the old Irish, and so we go to school in the secondary school in Athenry, the Gwil Cláiste, Cláiste de Nocre. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So talk who the fuck are logging? Oh, talk who the fuck are Irish the full way up, yeah. Nice one. Mm. I'm currently in um, Leaving Cert now. Okay. Well, you're yeah, not anymore. Yeah, I'm here, yeah. <laughs> you're not anymore. You're at home. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I was going to say to you. So, how did you find the Irish then, all the way up? Um, you're kind of used to it because, like, uh. Like, it's what we've always been doing. We're just like, it's normal to us. Like, people think it's kind of crazy, but it's normal uh, yeah. for us. I always couldn't understand how people could do, like, maths through Irish and stuff. Mm. Yeah, we do everything now through Irish except English. Well, I, that's, yeah, I thought that all right. That'd be, that'd be <laughs> yeah, no, we do German, much. German and everything, yeah. But it's normal to us, like, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's mad. But say like your extracurricular and stuff, that's all through Irish, like. So if you're doing... Oh, yeah, yeah everything, yeah. Great, Football yeah. through Irish... Really? Rugby, hurling, everything. That's mad. In the mother tongue. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's why the podcast is called On Studio. Yeah, yeah. You talk. You can tell me now, actually. Is it spelled properly? Um, It is, yeah. It is. Is it? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, but... Uh, it is, it yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. Not sure, like... I'll have to have another look at it. <laughs> look, get my dictionary out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you think I would have checked the dictionary like before I even started. But, uh, <laughs> anyhow, music. Let's talk about music. You know, that's the whole point of the podcast. Like, um, <laughs> have we got everything else out of the way first? So you're from Toom. You went to school in the Gael School. Um, yeah. So music. Mm-hmm. When did music first start in your lives? When did you oh, first come across music? When we were about six and seven. Yeah. Our mother. Uh, uh, Got us a couple of lessons off a fella she knew. Uh, Tony Small was his name um, okay. from Galway, but he was living in Tume. And then I vague memories of that. And I think that's we started off with that. But then our dad went and learned the guitar, and then he 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 taught us really and gave us the bass, uh, gave us a foundation for it, like and yeah, really uh, helped us for a few years. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, then um, around eleven or twelve, I think. We were going to Dan Trayers maybe, but uh, we we're we we're okay, like, and uh, then we might have, uh, for a couple of years on then, I was about 13, 14, we started going to Kevin Brogan. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, a yeah. local legend there. And, Brogan. Uh, Brogan, some man. <laughs> <laughs> but then that's when um, I started to really get into music then, and uh, he started teaching us by ear, because before, like, we used to, you know, read the chords off a sheet and play along. Yeah, yeah. kind of stuck in a strum but he really like um, uh, got us like learning it by ear and just kind of picking it up by ear and uh, really helped us a lot mm, yeah okay. we came on big time when we started with him there yeah, yeah. class 
bit of crack as well with him. Yeah, we'd have some steam in the classes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd say so, yeah. <laughs> no one you do anyway. You definitely have a bit of crack. <laughs> he's, a, he's a mad man himself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay. You play other instruments now, though, don't you? Well, recently, I started playing around with them. I don't know if I can play it. Uh, I I picked up the harmonica for a song or two, but I, I don't know if I can play it now. I just try to. Okay. And, uh, and um, we got a... For Christmas, um, our, uh, our cousin, our dad's cousin got us. He got uh, me a banjo. Uh, Connor uh, Bazuki and nice my little sister Emer a mandolin and uh, we hadn't really played much with them really and uh, just there when all this isolation started we were kind of just messing around with it we realised yeah. oh we're actually able to play this it's kind of yeah. like the guitar Class. Yeah. and uh, then we started playing Red Cortina and it was coming out good so we recorded it and stuck it up on Facebook Yeah. Good, uh, and now it has over 5.7 thousand views or something on Facebook, yeah, they. Uh, I tagged a couple of Saw Doctors, and then next thing I see, the Saw Doctors page sharing it. Shared it, and yeah. A few hundred, I think it has a uh, one thousand likes or something on yeah. Facebook. It's Just, mad. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good right. reaction. So I looked at the views in it there today, and um, yeah, I think it was up in five point seven thousand. Yeah, fair play to you. That's, that's and then I think there's three thousand views on YouTube or something. It's mad, like all their fans in America, and Australia, they're all the they've all seen it, like. like yeah, they're like, good on you lads. Yeah. It's good to see that. Yeah. yeah. It's class. It's very encouraging. Yeah. yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, oh. So, okay, so that's, we'll get on to that a little bit later on. Um, cool. I want to go back to, like, earlier on in your career. Um, yeah, yeah. So, well, not your career as such, but did you play music in school? Um, no. Didn't really, like, when I went into first year, uh, there wasn't music in the school. They only brought it in the last couple of years. And um, so I didn't really play much of it in school. No, not no. in school. But um, Yeah, it was just kind of outside school, just on our own. But Just for the crack, was, like? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you were more sports orientated in school? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, well, football. Well, that being said, though, we've both uh, been in the musical uh uh, oh, really? I, I was in Back to the 80s and Rory's what was it's, that called? Uh, Disco Inferno it's the TY musical so mm. we're both leads yeah we had leads in that and really? We, tell me about them yeah. tell me about them yeah so mine was Back to the 80s and it's it's set in America it was all in Irish now but the song's in English Class. and um, I was uh, Corey Feldman was the name of my character and he was kind of he was like this kind of too cool for school character and there was a girl in it and basically boy meets girl kind of story. That's Romeo so cool. and Juliet yeah. job like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back to the <laughs> Connor, has a, Connor has a few of those stories all right. I'd say he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He might tell us one later. <laughs> yeah, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> so Rory, what about you then? Tell me about Disco uh, Inferno. My one then was the following year. We did Disco Inferno. It was in the 70s it was mm-hmm. set. And uh, again, it was all in Irish, yeah. And uh, it was just about, I think it was a love story again. Uh, and it was set in a nightclub. And I owned the nightclub. And uh, I had to sing Disco Inferno by... Disco Inferno. Or not Disco Inferno. Um, Crocodile Rock by oh, yeah. uh, Elton John. Yeah, so that was good. Yeah, it was, it was a good experience. like. And yeah, class. <clears throat> yeah, yeah it, was, it was really good, yeah. So that's musical. I didn't even. I didn't know you did musical theater at all. Yeah, yeah it was well, just that really. Yeah, yeah, that's no it. Did, did no one there experience it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this is going lovely. Actually, I, I didn't know that at all about you. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's um. Okay. I want to talk to you about then Tum and how you got involved in music in the area. You know how how when did you kind of first make your first kind of put yourselves uh, out there yeah. in Tum with it. Um, so I think the first thing that kind of when we were going to Dan Trayer's, um I remember I, I th- I'm really sure it was uh, he rang dad and asked if we'd be in the Saw Doctors tribute uh, video on YouTube okay. did you ever see that okay. and we're at the start of that we're in like it's like a, scene, yeah. it's on YouTube yeah the Saw Doctors N17 tribute song and uh, 
with the opening scene and we're in it, we're just strumming the guitars in the square. Yeah. And uh, it's just like, that's kind of, that's the first thing I can remember, like, with uh, doing anything. We weren't even, like, playing in the middle. It was just for a couple of minutes, like, well, yeah, that's <laughs> first kind of... Yeah. That was the first thing, like, that, that's what made you open Yeah, that was the first... <laughs> Yeah, then look at that actually. Oh, yeah, it's funny. It's, it is funny. We're, I don't know what age we're. Yeah, I must try about eight or nine it. If I can find it, I'll put in a picture on the on the video. So oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then what else then after that? Then we, we kind, kind of then, like when I was when we started going to Brogy mm. about 13 or 14, I started getting into it a good bit. So then started writing a couple of songs then as well. and I think I do every, the last Thursday of every month is a soundbite session down the library. The I think. library, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Went, went to one of those before and Porrick Stevens and Leo Moran were at it and I think I played played a couple of songs and I think I might have played a couple of originals for the first time. So yeah. Class. But uh, first time out and... Just kind of, just kind of grew from yeah. there. Because I actually, I remember you. You were a big advocate for that. You were like mad for going to the library every Thursday. Yeah. Does that yeah. still is that well, still yeah. going on? Is that still a thing? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Obviously not now with the virus, like, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. still going. Yeah. Deadly. People meet there. Poetry, music. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Bits of everything, like. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Cool. Cool. Um. Okay then, Connor. Um, the last thing I, the last big thing I can, you had a few, a lot of big things actually happen like in the last, yeah, the few last few years. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the start of that was Master the Mic. Yeah, Master the Mic. Um, tell me about that. Yeah. The whole experience. Yeah, so that was kind of. Um, it was a talent show run every week by. Uh, um, in the Curly by uh, yourself and Julie mm. and David and Alan Bradburn, the manager in the Curly. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it was like a, it was kind of like what you say, kind of like X Factor. Everyone got someone got knocked out every week. We went for an audition at the start, and it was for um, under 18s in for people in the Chum area, and um, so I got to the final. And finished in third place, so I was happy with that. <laughs> and it was, was a great that, experience. Yeah, I was about to say, was that like your first time playing to a big audience? Um, or had you played to a big yeah. audience before? Yeah, that was. Say, yeah, I was in transition year. Um, say, yeah, that was the first time probably playing to a big audience. Master the mic really built up my confidence. Like, yeah, yeah, Jamie said the same thing actually. Yeah. Um, what was Jamie like? Jamie, I was class as well. <laughs> I was thinking you couldn't really say anything bad wedding, about yeah. him now, but <laughs> um, so that you did you you sang an awful lot of you sang did you sing a few originals on the on Master the Mic? Um yeah, I remember singing at least two. Okay. Yeah. So how did you get into songwriting then? What started songwriting for you? Tell me about like the first song you wrote and then how they evolved. First song I wrote. Yeah, so first song I wrote, um, it's called Deed. I remember I I was uh, listening to Oasis a lot. They're my favorite band, Oasis and the Sawdust. They're both two my great favorite. bands there. Now. Well. Two yeah, great yeah, bands. Yeah, but, um, uh, I was listening to a lot of Oasis, and I think I just kind of got inspired to kind of write something similar, maybe. But uh. I uh, just I was trying to write a song and came up with that. Yeah, What's I'll play about? it later on. <laughs> What's it about? Um, it's called Deed. So the chorus is kind of it's about doing something, you know, like your deed of the day, doing something good, probably. Okay. But uh, uh. So it's, a fairly it's not really idea, about like, yeah. Anthony, it's not really about Anthony in particular. Like some songs mean something, like they could be personal, and some some songs uh, could be just completely made up. Like okay, fair enough. Yeah, it could be about something. Yeah, same as Jamie said. So. Yeah, I think it's the same with like 
most musicians, most singer songwriters now, where they have like a small collection of songs that really mean something to them, and then they have a small collection of songs that mean absolutely nothing to them, like, and it's just pure, yeah, baloney, like, you know, yeah. And then they've just yeah. that a few that like really really mean something that they wrote when they were like in a really like, you know, mm. low part. Yeah, it's kind of it'd be different. Written. It's different kind of most songs like you wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> just now, just now, and say yes, yeah. lad. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then, after the master of the mic. You were Connor. You involved in the gig with Jamie as well. Yeah, Jamie put on his uh, show in the mouth. That was class. But he um, he asked myself and uh, Ellen Kane to be support act. So I happily happily said I would. And um, that was great. Like to play down the mouth and um, you know a few songs before. The mouth. Before is, it was class to do. The Mal is a class venue as well. Oh yeah, it's such it's a great. cool venue. It's great. Yeah, it's class. Oh, yeah. And like, that was your first, same as Jamie. That was your first kind of big production, yeah. we'll say. Like, yeah, you yeah. know, it was your first show that was really like produced properly in front of two hundred mm. and something people. Yeah, it was. It's brilliant. Yeah, it was so that wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Were you in? The, were you there? Did you go to? You did, Roy, didn't you? You went to it. Yeah, I was at it. Yeah, yeah, it was class. Yeah, unbelievable. I remember seeing you there. <laughs> <laughs> the heading, yeah. How could I miss it? Like. <laughs> <laughs> um. So then, okay. So that's kind of your productions and stuff out of the way. How do you get? How How do you get your name out there now in terms of getting yourselves out in the public? Do you busk? Um, yeah, well, we've done a couple of busking up in Galway. Yeah, we've done some sessions up in uh, Galway, but uh, uh, we do we do a few pubs uh, around Chill now. Um, well, I have yeah, uh, we were supposed to be doing um, the Abbey on St. Patrick's Day there, but that's that obviously right. got cancelled. Yeah, that's right. I was looking yeah. forward to that as well because I was going to go to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was going to be Rory's uh, debut gig in, in public, was it? Yeah, because yeah. Rory, Rory kind of gave up the music for a few years there, but I, yeah, I got him back into it. Yeah, I'm back. I was stronger than ever. Stronger than ever. That's why he... Why that's was why that? He, yeah, yeah, it's not why really was... about him in the last few years. Why was that, Rory? Um, you, you don't mind me asking. Was it just... Yeah, well, I, don't I, know. I love it. I don't really know, to be honest. I was just kind of sick of it, and I was kind of... I wasn't really... Yeah, he kind of was, to be honest, like, it kind of was, and I was just kind of getting fed up of it, and then, like, I kind of realised, you know, in TY, I was like, oh, like, what am I doing, like, this is, like, guitarist class, or, yeah, I actually started it back then, right? not too long ago, I, um, at, at Christmas there, I wrote a song, Oscar Wilge, about the school, and got, got all my friends, we were going, uh, we performed it, and I was like, Tori, yeah, come on, you you get into it now, and sure he played with us, and uh, he had a bl- he had a blast, and uh, <laughs> he, <laughs> that was uh, the start of it. Then after and got back into it. That mm-hmm. was the start of it. You had him under mm-hmm. your finger. Then he was mad to get back into it. Yeah. <laughs> Class. Okay, yeah. I, just, I yeah I wasn't sure what the situation was because I knew Connor was always like big into music, but I didn't know what your story was, Rory. But Yes, I know now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just, I'm kind of getting back into it now the last few months re- recently, but, uh, yeah, I wasn't really doing much playing there mm. the last couple of years, but, yes. Mm. It's growing. Back on the scene now. It's growing, it's growing, yeah. it's growing. Deadly. Yeah. Um, okay, dokey. This is flowing nicely, lads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's great nice. to have you on. It's oh, all yeah, about it's yeah. all about young talent and promoting young talent. Nice to be talking to you, Sean. Sean. <clears throat> um, yeah. Okay, so then, so hopefully there'll be more gigs in tune for you once all this is over. That's the, you know hopefully that's the, hopefully there'll Sorry? be more gigs for you in tune like when this is all over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal. I had a big gig there last month. Um, or was it two months ago, February. Um. It was part of the Galway 2020 uh, uh, 
tour kind of they were doing the night in every town in Galway and the local lads got to play yeah and um, me and a few lads we um, they're from I was I had a drummer with me guitar player and a bass player drummer Kyle Kern and uh, he's from Kern Dola and Jason um, Jason uh, J- Jason <laughs> Jason you know who you are <laughs> yeah. was this and, a fire fest thing yeah yeah okay Kyle. okay cool so yeah, what was this about? That's, that's a met you on a um, live feed. It's uh, that was a workshop that came to tune for uh, for artists to uh, musicians and artists to uh, partake in. Yeah, I remember that. Then that finished, and uh, uh, someone asked me, uh, "Would I like to do a gig up on a stage in uh, tune to the Firefest?" Yeah. So uh, we, we got practicing away, anyways, and um, uh did a couple of covers a couple of covers and a few originals then finished out with a classic song from an old tune band called uh, all cats are great song was the bed is rough off class tune uh, check it out yeah i will definitely yeah class so it, went, it went down well deadly yeah that the goy 2020 thing was class mm. for like every little Fireworks town and everything. yeah, yeah, it, was yeah. Huge. it was awesome about it yeah mm. class for mm. pretty you're getting all the big gigs. It's brilliant. Yeah, that was that was probably the biggest gig I've done. You played so, another gig with Darrow D, didn't you? Oh, down the mall, yeah. Another one um, in the mall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was support act again for uh, Dara. That was a class night as well. Fair play mm. to you. What's Dara like to work with? Because Dara's going to be oh. on a podcast as well. Fairly. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, he's sound out. Proper musician. Uh, class uh, man for the old tunes, you know. He's a cool dude. Uh, yeah, he's, sound. <laughs> he's sound. a real cool dude. Like I love him. So oh, yeah. bang on. Mm. Um, so any plans for recording or anything? Well, I uh, trying to get this leaving done. Anyways, this will be the first thing I get done, and then see. Then never know what will happen. Like, I'll yeah, probably try get something recorded. Yeah, uh, little EP or something. Plenty of originals. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm little album for yourself or something yeah so talk to me about your songs then how many yeah. how many songs have you written Ooh, um thank you i've around 10 probably more uh, somewhere i like i haven't played half of them they're <laughs> written in my coffee but like um yeah i have a few songs like that around 10 probably yeah okay not too bad yeah but, um, and are they all just kind of yeah. they're all full songs I'm guessing like they're not just bits yeah yeah they're um, full songs yeah like I have um, my latest song that I wrote was I can't even remember I write, I write I'm always writing away like so I lose track of how many I have but, yeah, uh, yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like myself like you'd start writing something and then you might never finish it and then you finish it and you just throw it in the corner and you don't do anything with yeah, it yeah yeah <laughs> have you written yeah. anything together no, we actually we actually haven't. We're all this to the day. No, we haven't written anything together. I haven't really. I haven't really. I've never wrote any song either. I've. I know. I I never really tried properly. Okay. I just sit down and. Just wouldn't have the patience. I'll go like, it like. All right, go. Yeah. <laughs> you should. <laughs> you should definitely try it. Yeah. Can either of you? Play? No, I, I love. Uh, I love it though. I love songwriting because. Uh, like playing the cover, you know, you just, it's great and all, but uh, when you write an original, you're adding something to, adding something like to the world, you know, it's yeah. your own opinions, your own, your own thoughts, like it's, it's, it's great, like you get yeah. some buzz off it, writing, writing your own song. I find your music, Connor, is really like, you can hear like tum in your music. Yeah, well. It's like really like. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been it's, it's, heavily, it's, like, yeah, it's yeah. hard to explain it, like, but you can just hear that you're just like, oh yeah, I'm from Tune, mm. you know, and it's it's really cool. It's almost like the Saw Doctors and like Lewis Capaldi had a baby, and then there's, <laughs> there's Conor O'Donnell, like, <laughs> Conor O'Donnell, yeah. <laughs> just it's a weird musical style, but it's class, and it just works really well. It is. It's cool. Thanks. It's really really cool. Yeah. Thank you. Um, 
So, anything you want to ask me, or anything, anything you want to know about her? Um, any questions for him? Well, how's your life going? <laughs> Grand. <laughs> going good. Grand, yeah. Do you know what's going well for you? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird not having, not being able to see people properly. Like you know, like I love if this yeah. was done properly with yeah. you here. It'd be way better. Like, but I give you a hug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stop! I haven't, I haven't yeah. felt any proper affection in about a month. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> <You know. laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck's sake, lads. Um, you were involved in Fuse as well, Connor, weren't you? Oh yeah, I've done Fuse maybe a couple of times. And, yeah, yeah. Fuse, is, Fuse is pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's take it's taken off nice. Uh, when geez. you did you play at the first one? Mm, first or second one? Um, yeah, probably the first one. Yeah, you're yeah. You're, you're in a few of them anyway. No, I've played some and then I've just gone and watched it, some of them. Okay. It's, it's nice. It's a nice atmosphere. Yeah, it's a cool little platform. Happens, but yeah. It's a cool. It's a cool little platform. Did yeah. you... Did you... Uh, <laughs> you got a nice little shout out in Porrick Stevens' new tune, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Like, like, like yourself. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and a few others. <laughs> oh, it's an honor. Serious honor. tune. Yeah. A legend like that. Like, oh, stop. Yeah. It's class. I'd love to have him on for an episode if I can. Yeah, um, it'd be yeah, class. Sorry, yeah. Jeez. yeah, you might be listening here, so you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely try and get him on. But I, I mean, I'd love to have him in person. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, definitely class little tune. Jesus, it's weird. Mm, like. Yeah. It's so good. Jeez. Fair play to him. It's class. Yeah. Um. Okay. So... He's like a god in the comes. He's like a god in the comes to songwriting. Oh, like seriously, <laughs> he's a pure <laughs> like. God. Veteran, oh, yeah. like of it, yeah. a pure veteran. Yeah. One, man... my, one of my favorite, one of my favorite chants. Is Come on the stairs. Oh, oh yeah. Come on the stairs. <laughs> Same <laughs> tune. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, it is a class tune. Yeah, it's deadly. Um, all of his stuff, man, is class. But I remember listening oh. to his stuff when I was like, so I'm twenty now. But I remember listening to his stuff because we had it all on CD and stuff. I remember listening to it when I was. Eight, nine. Like, yeah. it'd be playing around the house and you'd be kind of listening to the words, yeah. like, do you know, even though they wouldn't mean anything to you, but you'd be kind of singing along to it, like, do you know, mm, pure yeah. music, no more than your own. Yeah, I remember, I remember the first time hearing was, um, do you remember his songs from the Broken Wheel? Do you remember that album? Yeah. 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 I remember, I found out the other day, actually, it was so hidden away in a press somewhere, but, um, Oh yeah, I remember. That's kind of I started listening to all a lot of tune makers then. Class. Oh. Yeah, and Dad would always have it on, like uh, in, the car, yeah. in the car, always off in class. Yeah. Deadly. <laughs> Get something like that. Another a new one of them, like a new one of those tune albums. In class. Yeah, just like a, a mix of all the artists, like. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. That would be cool, actually. Might might look at doing something like that. Yeah, maybe. You, you yeah. never know. You never know. Uh, <laughs> I think it's time to play some music. Perfect. Perhaps. Yes. What do you think? Yeah, lovely. Yes, boss. All right. We'll take Whatever a little break like. and we'll come back and play some tunes. Sound it. You're listening to the On Studio Sessions podcast recorded live here in On Studio HQ in Toom. Each week we bring you the latest news and stories from upcoming artists and singer-songwriters from in and around County Galway. Don't forget to follow us on social media at On Studio Toom on Instagram and Facebook. And you can check us out on YouTube as well. For now, though, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of my conversation with the O'Donnell brothers. And we're back, part two, with the O'Donnell brothers. Um, we're having great crack. <laughs> These boys are two proper messers. <laughs> Can't take themselves seriously at all. Like, they've even swapped sides, like, and they were arguing about it during the break as well. <laughs> Like, I want to be on the other side. It's smashing guitars you're on the break. <laughs> Proper That's why we're using Leaf Set. If you did know the guitars are smashed. <laughs> yeah. There's a nine and he smashed it off my back. <laughs> you're going to play a few tunes for us? Yeah. yeah. What do you want so to play? We're going to start off. Um, 
From the start off with um, Red Cortina, we got a good reaction on the old uh, Facebook there during the other week, so. On, so on the old Facebook. Uh, yeah. Deadly. Old Bazooki, yeah. Give it stick. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Three, four. Three, four. Oh, There, that's a lovely combination, the bazooka and mandolin. Yeah, it's nice, alright. I think I'm gonna get myself one of those now. I think the bazooka's from Greece, I think, or somewhere. I'm not even sure. Really? Yeah. It's Greek bazooka, Irish bazooka. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Yeah. Connor's actual bazooka is 600 years old from Greece. What? <laughs> no, I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was I want one of them. Are they expensive? Yeah. Yo man, go for it. <laughs> go for the bike, go for it. You do you, you do you. Start a revelation of uh bazookies and tune. <laughs> so that was Red Cortina, obviously. Yeah. By the Saw it's nice Yeah. It's just a lovely song, like greatest band of all time. It's a real yeah. summary tune, isn't it? It is. Uh, yeah. Pure like, Wait. pure going to meet the bird like tune. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Jack Devon. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the bird, he loves the bird. Fair yeah, enough. From the video. <laughs> his, his mother is actually in the original video from Red Cortina. Really? Yeah, yeah. I see it. Interesting. Yeah. That's what Jack was telling me. Yeah, I saw her, he was. She was. <laughs> so much talent around this town. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody is in everything it's great oh uh, yeah anyhow what are you going to play for us next okay so we're going to move on to a couple of originals i uh i wrote in my spare time better good uh, this one's called noise cool um yeah it's a i'll just uh i'll just play it yeah. do that would be that's normally how we'd hear them do you know yeah, love it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. You and I, let's go for a driving. High five. What's on your mind? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Running in the rain, he's got his hood up, his back. 
Deadly tune. Yeah. Pure simple. Yeah, I was sitting down in the sitting room one day and uh, I just tried to write a song. That's what came out of me. <laughs> it's really like, it's simple yeah. but effective. I was just looking out the window and uh, just kind of observing what was going on. And uh, I think in, in the second verse there, or no, I said, uh, what did I say? Little Lord. Oh yeah, I said, little George, running in the rain, he's got his hood up his bag, I'm going somewhere. Oh, I don't care, well it might sound a bit creepy, but our, our neighbour, George, was walking down the road with his hood up and his bag on. I was like, he's going somewhere, so I just threw it into a song. <laughs> you were just people watching, like, and then you wrote this Yes, thing. yeah. Just being a bit of a creep and you wrote a tune, like. I know. Oh. <laughs> Deadly. No, it's class <laughs> tune. Cheers. Give us another one. Another one. Another one. Do D. Yeah, I do the first song I ever wrote. D. Do. You're on about this area. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. So D, it's called. Cool. Um, yeah, I wrote this trying to mm. trying to be a rock star. <laughs> so, <laughs> one, two, three. Sunday, everybody's waiting on the D today. Think outside the box and you'll understand why. Everybody's reason is to live or die. And when you're on the train for tomorrow, I can't deal with my sorrows. So, what's my D today? Or have you gone away? What's my D today? Tell me about that. I know you, um, said, you mentioned earlier that it kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, D, uh, yeah, it's just a song. I came up with the rhythm of it just fairly 
creeping off, I think. Like, uh, I was. Indeed. Uh, I don't know what, what to say about it, really. Uh, <laughs> it just happened, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of just fell out of the sky. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um kind of about like what's my deed today kind of what's my kind of good thing i can do for someone else you know yeah kind of that's kind of the main message of it deadly yeah or connor he's a loving and caring man yeah he is he's a lovely lad <laughs> oh he's great a lovely lad and <laughs> um, have you got another few for us yeah 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 um, play away play away that's what it's all about Mm. Yeah, we've got another one um, called Working on a Dream. Cool. So that's about working on a dream. Okay. <laughs> it's about yeah, working towards something like uh, even if it doesn't look like it, you're working towards a, a dream. Okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah, great. One, two, three, four. They're all like, like you can yeah. you can tell they're written by. And I don't mean this in a bad way at all, but you yeah, can tell yeah. they're written by like a teenager who just loves playing music. Yeah, and it's yeah, there's, some, it's there's something really that. nice and like <clears throat> authentic about that. It's really nice. Cheers. It's really yeah. cool. The last two, I all the last three of them there, I wrote like two years ago yeah yeah two two and a half years ago yeah the last two mm. they're class they're just they're really Thanks. cool they're really really cool mm. have you got yeah. one more for us we got one more um this next one it's called get a move on and um, i wrote this after <laughs> cool name mm. get a move on i was listening to a lot of shoot music sought after kind of music but um it's about kind of it's about like, you know, what, what would you say it's about? It's like stuff just around the town, like stuff you notice and yeah. Okay. Yeah, you listen to it. You'll you hear it yourself. Okay. Sound. <laughs> yeah. Sound champ. <laughs> Deadly. One, two, three, four. I'll wake 
minutes are gone. The last bit of sugar was a three-day festival. The high cross, where is it gone? Somewhere it doesn't belong. But we can all get along. I'm from the town where we sing in 17, but I'm 18. Time to get a move on. We have bookie shops, more liquor stops. Hit me on, chick a lot. Dare I lose the plot? More funky shots, more liquor stops. Pay me on to the lot. Dare I lose the plot? down the road Celtic up the hill We all love a game of all But our marching's getting a lot Modernize a lot What hair? I say Cause I'm from the town where we sing in 17 But I'm 18 Time to get a move on. So we got bookie shops, more liquor stops. Pay me on, take a lot. Dare I lose the plot? More bookie shops, more liquor stops. Pay me on, take a lot. There I lose the blood. The widow jumps up in the night, across the road to get away from the man with the can. The square in its glory. What's the story? See how Trisha. Cause I'm from the town where we sing in 17, but I'm 18. Time to get a new on. Cause we've got booking shops. More liquor stops. Pay me on to the lot. Dare I lose the plot? More bookie shops. More liquor stops. Pay me on to the lot. Dare I lose the plot? Bookie shops. More liquor stops. Pay me on to the lot. Dare I lose the plot? Class. Thank you. That's a real. You can definitely hear the saw doctor, isn't that? Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's. Song, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's large. It's really, really cool. You know, it'd be nice if we got Leo to record it with you. Yeah, yeah, that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Leo Moran, if you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> so, lads, fair play to you. Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. Thanks Lovely, for coming yeah. Lovely stuff. It's great to have you. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah, cheers. Enjoyed it a lot, though. Great Enjoyed to have you. Lot. It was brilliant. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Pleasure, pleasure, absolutely brilliant. Um, the Gallagher yeah. Brothers of Tomb, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lads. Cheers. Thanks for coming on. Cheers. Right, Thanks. Talk to you later. Let's look at the-
best of luck with the podcast and uh, all the episodes to come. Thanks a million. And sure, listen, once all this is over, we'll definitely have you back properly. Mighty. Lovely. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh. <laughs> 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 Fair play to you, Les. Cheers. Lovely. All right. Thanks a million. Thank you. Cheers. Good luck. So there you have it. The O'Donnell brothers or the Gallagher brothers of Toom, as they like to call themselves. Um, Fair play to the lads. They've been on the music scene in Toom for years. I remember seeing pictures of Connor as a young lad with holding the guitar. Um, two lovely, lovely lads. Again, pure, genuine lads. Great to have them on um, to sing, sing a few tunes for us and stuff like that. Um, so hope you enjoyed episode two. Um, subscribe follow us on all the social media and all that stuff at um, on studio music I've changed all the handles so everything is on studio music now um, so it should be easier to find everything um, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it um, I'll have the next guest coming very shortly so uh, stay tuned to all the social media and stuff alright thanks a million mm-hmm.